What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Uh, we miss we miss our little our little drawer Landon who uh, is is off busy right now. But Madeline and I did did a couple of drawings tonight, and um, we're gonna do another one too. This one here tonight is called a flower. How to draw a flower? So this is like just kind of inspired by a little flower garden we have out in the front. Yeah, of and our we've house. we've also painted a couple flowers. We have. We've painted a couple flowers using a couple different te techniques, so check those videos out. I think, you should. I think one of them is called the Q-Tip Flower, and the other yeah, one is called... Like then... What I is have... the other one called? I... Is it the handprint flowers? Those were construction <gasps> flowers we oh, made. Oh, yeah. Those are right there. I'll bring them so you can see. And then we did one other type of flower, too. Oh, we did the this paint pour mother... flower. Yes, that's what it was paint called. Paint pour flower. And then we made these um, hand flowers. Those videos will be lit. Um, Linked in the description below. Yeah, we'll link them in the description below so you guys can check those out. So anyways, we are we're sort of inspired by our little flower garden we used to have out front. We still have it out front. It's just it's starting to go away now. It's yeah, fall. It's, it's, but yeah. um, we really, we really, really enjoy that flower garden. And oftentimes when we think about flowers, we think about that. But also, we just think about really cool flowers. So what we're going to draw today doesn't necessarily exist in the world, but it's super cool. It's like a rainbow flower. Yeah, it's like a rainbow flower. So, you ready to get to it? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. Let's go. It's gonna be a simple flower, but it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Okay, and actually I'll show you how we can start it simple and then we can add a little bit more to it to make it a little bit more complicated. But in the middle of your paper, a little bit higher than halfway, you're gonna just draw little a circle. Sweet. Then you're gonna take you're gonna make your first flower petal go almost to the top of the page, but not quite. It's like a big upside down U, really. This is really yeah, and it like at the it top. It kind of comes in a bit. It comes like in kind of. So. Yeah. Good job. Then you're gonna just go straight across. This is so we get this, the right amount of petals. Okay. You're gonna come straight across, and you're gonna you're gonna make it the same width, and you're gonna try to. You're gonna try to follow that same path. It doesn't have to be perfect, but like for example, mine's about that tall, so I'm gonna try to come down to about there. And mine is just... It's just quick pen cap measuring. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. And you know what, flowers, if you went out in nature and you like went and found flowers, they wouldn't be exactly perfect. They'd be close, but not exactly perfect. Mm -hmm. So now we come across this side, we do the same thing. Out to the side, and back in, just like those upside down U's. And they don't all have to be the same either. Good. Can we do another that's one? That's like two pen caps this time. Yeah. And that's okay. Like some petals are longer than others. It's completely yeah. fine. We'll come and out some this way. Some have no petals. That's right. And then we'll do that. I just, just made one. that one longer. Not on purpose, but. So, so far we have what looks like a fan but it's gonna be a flower. Yeah, with okay. on the seat. So what we do now is we go, see this one? See this spot right here? We're gonna start a little bit up this petal and a little bit up this petal, and we're just gonna go just out like that. Okay. Good job, I like yours better than mine. Then we're gonna go like this, and we're gonna do the same thing. And we're just gonna repeat that pattern, okay? And again, just knowing that it's not, it does not have to be perfect. Dumb. It looks like okay. a, a check mark, um, not a check mark, oh my gosh. Like a plus sign and then an X under it. It sort of does, yeah, it, it sort of like, does. Like what it looks All like. right, what I wanna do is I wanna take, like fl flower petals often have like a little bit of a line down the middle of them. Just like, add, it's just like adding a texture line. Not gonna go all the way out. It's gonna go like, oh, like about halfway. Yeah, and I'm only gonna do that on these four. Oh, okay. One, two. It just gives like more. Kind of makes it more like. Give some definition to it. Yeah, like more realistic. Yeah, exactly, kind of? exactly. Now I want to add one more detail before we do the stem and then color. Okay. Yeah. And that one more detail is like a little bump 
behind each one of these little spots. You're just gonna do a little bump. Sometimes I just like to turn my paper. I think yeah. it makes it so much easier. It, it really is easy. Oh. <laughs> there. Okay. What do you think? Now we're gonna draw a stem. So the stem's gonna come down. It's not gonna be perfectly straight because stems are just not perfectly straight. Mm -hmm. Mine is gonna be like it came out from behind this petal. It's just gonna curve. It's gonna curve like this. Yeah, it's just gonna get a little thicker as it goes down. And there's my stem. Okay. Do you want to put leaves on the stem, or do you want to leave them leave it alone? Uh, maybe one leaf. Oh, one leaf off to the side. So you just take curve and curve it and dip it, and then good job. And then you take the other one. Bring it right up to it. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple. And then you just finish it off with like a partial line like that. All right. Now we have the opportunity to color. And as we color, we can just you go like do all sorts of different, you know, different patterns. They don't have to be the same colors. Mm -hmm. Sharpie drop. <laughs> all right, let's color. Let's do it. I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna do brights, just like we like to do. Like when we did our unicorn that time. By the way, if you haven't seen the unicorn video, check it out. Uh, I'm gonna start with brights though. So I'm going to do a blue first. Nice bright That's blue. A good, that's a good choice. And just cause maybe there's never ever, we've never ever actually seen a flower in real life that has like so many multiple colors that we're gonna do. Does that matter? No. Of course not. We can always make it do what we unique want. Do whatever you want, right? As yeah. unique as you want. So we're on these we'll outs. We'll swap. Swap. Yeah, so on these outside parts, we're just doing a pattern. So like yellow. I like pink, the way you did yours pink, better than I did mine. Pink. You made them like more of like little pe petals, but that's okay. So which one? We're gonna go yellow here, and then pink, yeah. yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink. All right. So, so we I'm gonna do yellow while you're doing pink. So this is kind of kind of interesting because we're not going to shade the flower, but we're going to shade the stem. But that's just that's fine. Yeah. So you just take you pretend the light's coming in from this way. Yeah. And then you just shade everything that's on the right the right hand side. So it's light mm -hmm. coming from the left, shade the right hand side of everything. And then when you do the leaf, it's the underside all the way out to the right side. Yeah. Are you ready, Maddie? Yeah. One, two, three. Flowers. <laughs> Rainbow flowers. I feel like I'm taking over, like, I feel like we both are taking over acting like Landon because Landon's not here. <laughs> well, we, <laughs> ki we kind of are because he always says, like, hammer the like button. <laughs> What's well, up, you two? <laughs> he's, uh, hey, he's our little character. And we're also missing our little, little character, Odin, too, who's also busy. But it yeah, gave, off with mom. gave us time to do some drawings together, which is super cool. We don't always get to do that. So and here, sometimes it can be really annoying, but that's just <laughs> what <laughs> siblings are. <laughs> Sibling annoyance. Um, anyways, <laughs> this is what they came out like. We really enjoy them. Um, again, there's probably not a flower that looks like this in the world, but it doesn't matter. We had a great time. We had a blast. So yeah. check them out. Uh, Craft Kids TV on YouTube. And what else do they do? If they like that video, if you like the video, hammer the like button and do what else? Subscribe to our channel! Subscribe to our channel! That's right.
Till next time. Be well. Stay say bye. Say, say bye. 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 <laughs> All right. Yeah.